We got some breaking news that broke literally right before the show, and we don't really talk about this because we're not, you know, experts on this, but it's breaking news. It has to do with football. We're talking about the Carolina Panthers have gotten the first overall pick. The Bears have traded it away. So the Bears trade the number one overall pick. The Panthers trade away the ninth pick, the 61st pick, which is a second round pick, uh, next year's first round pick <coughs> and a 2025 second round pick. That's a lot. It is a lot. You got four oh, and plus DJ Moore, their wide receiver. So they gave up four picks, a player, and you got the first round pick. Uh, you got two first, two seconds, uh, and then DJ Moore. That's who you got for, and then you get the number one overall pick. So wow, I think I want to start with this one. Okay, that pick was number nine. They had the number nine pick. Yes, I don't know why they did that. What do you mean? Well, there's a lot of good quarterbacks in this draft. I mean, they, I agree. They, they think Bryce Young is the best, I guess, and maybe Alabama isn't so far from uh, where they play their games, so they figure this guy's in the region. Right. He's the one we want. But uh, I think there were three other quarterbacks that could be, you know, in that category that uh, they wouldn't have had to give up all of that to uh, get. So we'll see. What do you think? Well, here, here's what I was going to go for, right? <laughs> So, since the Panthers, by the way, two years ago, they wanted to get Matthew Stafford. They were going to try to trade to get Matthew Stafford from the Lions. He eventually went to the, the Los Angeles Rams and won a Super Bowl in his first year. And then, they were in the running for Deshaun Watson. And we saw how that turned out. The Browns decided, because they were so desperate to get a quarterback. And overpaid. They overpaid him to the nth degree, and they got him. So, the Panthers were stuck with Sam Darnold. And then they had Baker Mayfield, and then they were eventually left with P.J. Walker. And they also have Jacob Eason on their roster as their fourth-string quarterback. And also Matt Corral, who I believe they drafted in last year's draft. So they have a bunch of quarterbacks, and now they're in the prime position to draft the guy that they want. And here's what I'm going to go for. I'm not going to pick Bryce Young. I don't think the Panthers should pick Bryce Young. I'm going with C.J. Stroud. That's my pick. Although... <coughs> I think it's, uh, truthfully, I think it's between two guys, C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young. But if we're talking about the prototypical quarterback in the NFL, it's about a 220-pound, foot four pocket passer. That is the prototype for a NFL quarterback. That's not Bryce Young. It's not Bryce Young. Bryce Young in the combine chimed six, in. Six feet tall. Not even. 194 pounds. Here's the thing, though. At the combine, he was actually measured at five foot ten and one eighth inch. And 204 pounds. So he put on oh, a little wow. bit of weight, but he's two inches shorter. Okay. Well, Kyler Murray isn't very tall, and he plays pretty effectively in the NFL. So he, and some, you know, sometimes maybe the smaller guy is, they look at it differently these days. Well, so, uh, they're, they're, I forget who it was, but one of the shorter quarterbacks, it might have been Baker Mayfield, it may have been Kyler Murray. They said that sometimes they can't see over their own offensive yeah, linemen. True. They're really big, those guys these days. Although, I will say this, Bryce Young could be the most talented quarterback. He, he very well may be. I think he's the most athletic quarterback, although, out, out of the, the two, uh, out of the three potential options, Anthony Richardson is the most athletic quarterback in this draft, hands down, but I don't think he's going to go in the top three of quarterbacks. I do think it'll go down to C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, and Will Levis at the top three. Anthony Richardson, he didn't play great in college. I think that's why he won. He's, he didn't he's, play that many games either. Correct. Games. He, he barely played any games. He's it's, uber it's, athletic, it's, though. Uh, his uh, completion percentage was pretty low, too, like 57%. I oh, it, it, it was uh, in his career. It's 54.7 <clears throat> in his career with uh, yeah. with Florida. And they, they, you know, truthfully, I see all of his highlights. They're running highlights. You don't see, and besides, his, uh, he had 17 touchdowns, didn't throw many touchdowns to nine interceptions. I would choose C.J. Stroud strictly because of the game I saw him against Georgia. We saw how Georgia beat up, beat up on TCU. Now, it could be TCU is just lucky they got there, and it very well could be because they got super lucky with Michigan. They got a bunch of red zone turnovers uh, against Michigan, and Michigan just fell apart in the second half. But the, the way that C.J. Stroud played against Georgia, I mean, what, 67.6% uh, completion percentage, 350 yards, four touchdowns, no picks. And C.J. Stroud for the past two years has been relatively good. He's been really, really good. He's a great passer and a great athlete. He is, but Bryce Young, I, I would think, is a better athlete. He didn't have as good a year. Also, C.J. Stroud this season. C.J. Stroud is the most accurate passer in the draft. He is, and I, he's, he's the better thrower. I mean, he, he had more touchdowns, he has the best one more interception. He has a very good attitude, too. I understand his attitude towards his teammates and his coaches and everything is uh, right up at the top. Right. Yeah. 
So my I'm I'm gonna go with C.J. Stroud as the number one pick. As the number one pick. Wow. I, I well here's here's the problem with this stuff. How about his smarts out there? That day, hey, hey, I mean, I I I mean, what, what are you talking about? You think Bryce Young could be smarter than C.J. Yeah, Stroud? He gets a very high ranking for his uh, you know awareness on the field and uh, when things break down, he, he improvises. He's a really good improviser. So that happens a lot. Yeah. And, uh, so I I think. He might get it. He gets a little, in my book, he gets a nod in the smarts category. Fair enough. Fair enough. And now, the attitude category too. He he's, has a lot of good leadership skills and his accuracy is great. So I have him at number one. And, and you know what? That's a perfectly fine pick. Yeah. I, I could completely but understand I do. That. I, I think a lot of people are questioning his durability yeah. and his size. Yeah. So that, that could be a factor. I, I, I do think that will be a factor. That's not the issue with uh, Stroud. I think this is actually a really, really good trade for the Bears because the Bears didn't need to give up their second round pick. No, I agree. I think they've what the thirty ninth pick or something like that. They have a very high second round pick, and they, I don't think they need need to give up their first that they got. Uh, They're getting a lot of players now. Oh, they, they, be, they and, and pretty high in the draft. I'm too. sorry, it was the Panthers that didn't need to give up their yeah. their other second if round. If they pick. can pick smart, if the Bears can pick smart, they can help themselves a lot this year. Well, here's, here's what I'm going to say, though. Chicago needed, first of all, Chicago needed to fill in some sort of wide receiver issue. I talked about, we, I, I mean, I mentioned this right before the season started. They had the landfill of quarterbacks. They got guys who no other team wanted and Darnell Mooney. And then they eventually got Chase Claypool, who basically became useless on the team. He, I, I didn't really even see him. I thought he was going to be, you know, worth something. Now you get DJ Moore, who I think is a, who was a pretty good receiver. Yeah, he's a thousand yard receiver. He's really good. Now Justin Fields has another weapon on that team. So now you got Chase Claypool, you got Darnell Mooney, and you got uh, was it DJ Moore now? So you have you have three pretty good receivers. Chase yeah. Claypool, people don't like Darnell Mooney. People think he's good, <laughs> and DJ Moore, people are starting to like. Well, now, maybe that will help Justin Fields out. He needs a lot of help. He does because his his top receiver. <laughs> I, I looked at this just now. His top receiver was his tight end, and and the the amount of yards he caught for was five hundred and forty four. You cannot. That, there's a reason why they pick. They were picking first. It's because your top receiver was your tight end at 544 yards. Yeah. Your highest res, your highest wide receiver was 493, and that's Darnell Mooney. So now you actually have a. First of all, I would go with offense. I would first. I would go first defense because your defense was absolutely abysmal. The 29th ranked total defense, and then I would go with another offensive lineman because Justin Fields at the very end of that season was running for his life. He was running for like he put up so many rushing yards at the end of the year because his offensive line couldn't hold nothing. Yeah, you talk about a sieve of an offensive line, a turnstile of an offensive line. That was the Bears at the end of the year, and you know what, Justin Fields. You know, he, Justin Fields is a smaller quarterback. He's a he's a mobile quarterback, and your offensive line is terrible. That usually means you're gonna get hurt sometime soon. So I think it's smart to go defense first because your defense was bad, and then pile up on offensive linemen. Maybe get another wide receiver. Focus on the defense, maybe. But I think the first one needs to be an edge rusher. Got to create, got to generate some pressure because you got rid of uh, your two best defensive players, Roquan Smith and Robert Quinn. I believe his name is. Yeah. You you'd send them to the the Eagles and I believe to the Ravens. You got to get a new edge rusher now, and then after that, pick up an offensive lineman, pick up an offensive tackle, and then you could do defense and maybe another yeah. receiver there. That's what you need to do. And and, and I think that I think the the Bears. I think they they, they play this they, very very I well. I think they. I, I don't understand the Panthers. Uh, I mean, they want Bryce Young, obviously. Well, you think but so? Yeah. I, I, they gave up a ton to get him, and they could have had one of the top four quarter. They could have had a very good quarterback at their pick. They're they're the number nine pick. Yeah, they're number nine pick, and I think that uh, now now the Bears have the nine pick. Anthony Richardson will be there at number nine. I agree. Yeah, and I, I here's the thing. I think the Giants. I believe they have the twenty fifth pick. If if Anthony Richardson drops down to twenty to, I don't to have think the Giants drop down that low. I, I think, I mean, no, but before the combine, people were saying Anthony Richardson could be an early second, maybe late first. And I was like, oh, perfect for the Giants. You have a, you have a very mobile quarterback. They it, just signed Daniel Jones to a $160 hey, million we dollar contract. Know, we don't know how, how consistent Daniel Jones would be. He had a, he had a really, really good season this I, year. I, I, I want to see no another way, year. There's no way a rookie quarterback is going to replace him next year. That's not, we don't know. It's not going to happen. We don't Unless know. Unless he gets hurt. Which, hey, maybe. They, they need to shore up that offensive line. Yeah, that's true. But and he needs to run a little bit less. He he put himself in. He's arms taking away. a lot of hits. Took a lot of hits. He's taking sure. a lot of hits. Yeah. But here, here, here's here's my stance on this. If Anthony Richardson drops down to twenty five, the Giants should take him. Have him sit one or two years because the first two years of Daniel Jones' contract are light. They're not as heavy as the back two, which then they can move off of him at the very end. No. 
So that that, that if, if things go bad, if Daniel Jones goes back to the way he used to be, you're not a big supporter of Daniel Jones. Uh, we know that. You no, know, here's the thing, right? I was a supporter of Baker Mayfield. He undercut me so so hard this past season, and so I gave up on. Him. He was my guy. Here's the thing with Daniel Jones. I want to see consistency. If he goes out this year and they get a receiver, they get him a weapon. Odell's still on the market. They were interested in him this past season when he was recovering from the They're ACL. They're never going to bring him in. If they do, or if they draft another, <clears throat> if they draft a receiver who's who's very That'd viable, be a better option. They they were looking at DJ Moore. You can't get him. Maybe a Jerry Judy. Maybe a Higgins. You bring in a good, a solid wide receiver. One. I want to see how Daniel Jones does. If he if he's even a glimpse of his previous three years, not this past one. I think in two years the Giants should move off him because maybe this okay. was just a blip. So I think oh, Andy we'll Richards see. drops down, Giants should draft him. Okay, well, I don't think he'll ever get that low. I've got Bryce Young, number one, to the Panthers. Okay. Will Levis uh, from Kentucky to the Colts, at, okay. uh, number four. That's a good pick. C.J. Stroud, um, number five, to the Seahawks uh, from Ohio State. And you Anthony, think Stroud's one to the Seahawks? Yeah. They just signed Geno to a three-year deal. Yeah, but, you know. Three years is not that long, and uh, okay. they're going to need a quarterback. And I don't know whether they really that sold on Gino. Yeah. Hey, I he, he, uh, I think Gino said he was betting on himself this year. Yeah, so well, he did great, and I'm a did. supporter of Gino. I, I I thought he did a great job, and uh, you know he 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 suffered a lot of adversity along the way to get to that starting job, and and he he acquitted himself very well this past year. But I think going forward. If he uh, if he doesn't do as well or better, fair fair, then they're going to be looking at uh, C.J. Stroud, who I think they'll draft at number five, and then I think Richardson's going to the Titans at number eleven. Okay, here's the here's the crazy part. I, I was looking at a couple mocks before this trade actually went through. The Seahawks weren't drafting a quarterback. The Titans weren't drafting a quarterback. I think the Titans should. They're blowing up their team. They're shopping Derrick Henry. They got rid of their best defensive player. Uh, they're releasing Bud Dupree. The team is, and for some reason, the GM wants to keep Ryan Tannehill. For what reason do you want to keep Ryan Tannehill? To be a mentor to uh, but here's Anthony the thing. Richardson. No, they, they got they got Malik Willis in this past draft. Ryan Tannehill said, it's not my job to mentor. We talked about this this past offseason. Okay. I thought that was a horrible character trait of Ryan Tannehill saying, yeah. oh, well, it's not my job to mentor this guy. You're the quarterback. You're the quarterback. You need to do that. So, I... I, I actually like your draft because if the Titans are really blowing up their team and starting from scratch, that they would need be going. A quarterback. And Malik Willis did not here Malik Willis, when he was in there, when Ryan Taylor got hurt, he did not look quarter he did no. not look like a quarterback in the league. Can't pass. It, it, yeah, it, passing's not very good. But the crazy thing about it was when they played the Chiefs, they had what five first downs in the second half and it went to overtime. That that blew my mind how that how well, that the even, defense played really well. The that, defense that, played very well that game. That 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 is a fair point. So I think we both agree. I I think so. We both think this is a good trade for both sides. I'm um, I'm asking you. Do 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 you think each team? Uh, you mean between the Bears and the? Do Panthers? do you think anyone won and lost, or do you think they both won or both lost? Who, who who do you think? I think the Panthers lost. Really? Yeah. I mean, they get number one pick, but they could have had a great quarterback at number nine, uh, okay. or a great prospect. I don't know if he's going to be a great quarterback, but. A, a guy who would have a lot of potential. They okay. just they just very sold on Bryce Young. That's why hey. they did it. They gave up a ton to get him. Do they really have to give up that much? They, wow. it's, Look it's, how much they gave. It's up. the first overall pick. You got to give up a lot. Yeah, but th run through that again. What they gave up? They gave up the number ninth pick, the number nine pick. They gave up the sixty first pick, which is in the second round of this draft. Yeah. A twenty twenty four first, a twenty twenty five second. A 20, they gave up two first round picks. Two first rounds, well, two second well, rounds, they gave and up a player. Ni ninth and, and a, a first. Right? They gave up their ninth. The number nine, nine in the first and round. The first round and next then, year. And the next and year, the first. Second, and then second a third this one. and a fourth. No, no. Next year. No, 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 next. no. Number nine this year. Yeah. Uh, the 61st pick, which is in the, the second, second round, round this year. Yeah. Next year's first, 2025 second round. Wow. So four picks and DJ Moore. Yeah. And DJ Moore. Yeah. DJ Moore is a thousand yard receiver. Thousand yard receiver. So, that's a lot. That's a lot to give up. It is. No, I I, I 100% will agree with you there. But uh, I mean, they're, they're counting on Bryce Young to be the starter next year then. You're, right? you're, you're banging on whatever quarterback you draft to be the starter. I don't know. they to bring in somebody to mentor the guy, you know? Maybe. Baker Maybe. Mayfield. <laughs> <laughs> they, I, I, I doubt it. I think they still have Sam Darnold under contract, but I don't know. How, Sam Darnold, I don't think he's a great mentor. Maybe. I wouldn't think so. You know, yeah, the, the receivers just you got decent receivers. Terrence Marshall Jr. got Rashard Higgins. Maybe they Higgins, think Bryce Young is another Smith. Lamar Jackson. 
Maybe they think he's another Lamar. I think I think Anthony Richardson is closer to Lamar than uh, than Bryce Young. But yeah. hey, Bryce Young is a, is a. I think if we talk about pure talent, I think Bryce Young is probably number one. Yeah. I would choose CJ Stroud. I think he's the better thrower. I, I mean, look at he played against Georgia. Georgia tore up TCU. That was an embarrassment of a game. Like, like we're talking about the national championship, and Georgia just plowed through. I'm going with CJ Stroud. You got Bryce Young.